Hello everyone! Today I have the Final Fantasy VII Remake PS4 release date countdown up. As you can see, we are 16 days and 17 hours away from Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I know you guys are probably wondering, well, why are you recording a video of this countdown right now? Well, I'm just going to have this countdown up on the screen while I talk about Final Fantasy VII Remake because I want to talk more about this game before it releases and I thought I would do a video of it now. This is not a Final Fantasy VII grind video like I've done with my previous Final Fantasy VII related videos. That's mainly because I am not grinding in Final Fantasy VII right now. I am right near the very end of the game. I plan to hopefully finish it before the remake comes out and no I will not be recording that because I want to just get that finished. I will continue. I did start a Final Fantasy 7 playthrough. I hope to edit that first video I did, although it's rather long so it's going to take a while to edit. I've been working on my latest Danganronpa episode. I have that done edited and that will be up shortly. However, I do not want to talk about Danganronpa right now. I am here to talk about Final Fantasy VII Remake for this video. And we've got two and a half weeks to go till this game comes out and I am super excited for it. I recently pre-ordered the Digital Deluxe Edition and I'm really, really excited for that. I mainly went with that one for the digital art book and the soundtrack. I decided to go digital because of what's been happening around the world as of late. I realized it would be the smart idea to get a digital copy rather than physical because that means it guarantees I will be able to play it on release instead of waiting for shipment delays, etc, etc. So I figured digital was the way to go. So I pre-ordered the Digital Deluxe, and I will be getting the art book, the soundtrack, the three summons, Carbuncle, the Chocobo Chick, and Cactar, and I'm excited to use them. I will probably mainly use Cactar because I've been a fan of Cactar for a while. The other two just look kind of weird with their big heads to me, so I don't know if I'll be using those ones as much. Probably if they prove to be useful. In battle, I will use them, but only if I find them to be very useful, like if I'm in a pickle or something. Anyway, I have played the demo five times already, and it blows me away every time I play it. It's just so much fun. Even if it's the same bombing mission over and over again, I still find it fun to play through, and it gets me excited, and it holds me over until this release, because... As of right now, I'm like waiting desperately for this game, as I'm sure many of you are. I am just so excited. I'm thankful that I will be able to play it. At first, I was just going to watch playthroughs of the game, but I felt like that wasn't enough. So I recently did buy a PS4, mainly for this game and the future Final Fantasy VII Remake games. Which, yes, in case some of you do not know by now, which... I'm curious as to how you would not know by now, but this game is multi-part. It should be, I believe, three parts in total. I'm not sure if that's confirmed. I forget if that's confirmed, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be three parts in total. And the part two is already in development, they have stated. And I'm excited to hear more about that after the first part comes out. But these are all standalone games, as you all should know by now. Because the they are each going to be the length of a full Final Fantasy game. So each part is going to be at least, at the very least, 40 hours worth of gameplay. So there is no lacking here as far as that goes. So this is these are all going to be amazing games and I can't wait to play them. I can't wait to play the first one soon because, you know, 16 days, everyone. And I'm just... As I said, I was only planning to watch playthroughs of it, and like I said, that didn't seem like enough for me because I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII, 
and I'm like, after I found out all the extra content we're going to get with this game, I'm like, well, I should play it firsthand. I recently sold my PS Vita to a friend, and I was going to use the money from that to get a Switch Lite and to get the new Animal Crossing, but I thought long and hard about it, and I thought, and at the end of the day, which game am I more hyped for? Animal Crossing or Final Fantasy VII Remake? And the answer was Final Fantasy VII Remake. I've been hyping up for this game a lot more than Animal Crossing, and I do love Animal Crossing as a franchise. Yes, it's one of my favorites, but I am way more excited for Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I thought maybe I should hold off on getting a Switch for now and just get a PS4 so I can play Final Fantasy VII Remake because there's so much extra content in this game. So many new side quests. Just the thought of all of this new stuff blows my mind and I, I want to experience it all firsthand. So I made the decision to get this game instead and I am so pleased with my decision and I'm so thankful I went with this because it makes me even more excited. Like tons more excited than I was before and I'm so glad I'm gonna be able to play this myself I'm gonna be able to get my hands on this game and I'm just I can't wait I'm so excited and I'm sure many many of you are excited as well who are watching this and I just I cannot wait for this game and I'm running out of things to say right now but it's like we're almost there. I mean, we have not gotten this close to it since, you know, they delayed it. And back when they delayed it, I believe we were, what, 50 days away from it? And then 50 days turned into, what, 80-something days? And that was like, oh my god. Such a drag to get through. And it felt like forever till we were getting this game. We thought, yeah, they delayed it. We're never getting this game. But now we're 16 days and 17 hours away, which means we are getting this game. Whether the world wants us to or not, we're getting this game. So, I mean, just so glad that we are still getting it, despite everything, despite all the worries people had of this getting delayed again because of the worldwide scare and the worldwide thing going around. I won't say the name officially, I will call it Geostigma, but this Geostigma that's been going around, people thought, oh no, it's going to get delayed again, it already got delayed once, we're going to not get this game, but then they said no, we're going ahead with the game releasing on April 10th, the game has gone gold, it's ready to go, they're just waiting for that release date to come so they can release it. And yes, Amazon did issue that statement that people who pre-ordered it were going to get shipment delays but they the Amazon made the mistake by making people think the game itself was being delayed that was not the case Square Enix stated no this game is still coming out April 10th we assure you and then Amazon fixed the delays and said oh the game is still shipping out April 10th I think GameStop was delaying shipments. I forget exactly. I do hope everyone who pre-ordered a physical copy, I hope you guys get your copy as soon as you can. I hope you have little to no shipping issues and I hope you're all able to play this game as soon as I am, if not a little bit after because I pre-ordered it, it digitally. So I'm going to be able to play it the night of April 10th or like probably before midnight my time because I am in California which means at 9 p.m. on April 9th my time I will be able to download the game so and you know I'm gonna download it I, I have my auto download selected so it will be it will download automatically as soon as it is released and I will be there waiting for it to download so I can play it as soon as it's done because I am so excited and I I want this game now. So, and I'm just, I can't wait for that. So, but I do hope all of you get your copies as soon as you can, as 
soon as you're able to get it shipped out to you. And I could just, I could talk forever about my excitement for this and everything else about it. There was an interview released yesterday about some concerns people had, like for Red 13 and other things. Red 13 is not playable in Midgar. Some people don't remember. Or they do, but they just think that we're going to be able to play as him in the remake in Midgar. But that's not the case, because he was not playable in Midgar. He was playable after you escaped Midgar in the original. So, obviously, he's not going to be playable in part one. So people had concerns about that because I, I don't know why. Maybe they were quick, quick to assume that he wasn't going to be playable at all in any of the parts. But I'm like, no, that's not the case. So they finally addressed that and he's going to be able to help along the way in part one. Like he's going to be able to help on this new floor of Shinra HQ. And I'm excited to see that and find out how he helps your party. So I'm, I'm super excited for that and everything else. I do also love the fact that when it comes to the wall market part of the game, when you get Cloud's dress and everything, that you get, there's multiple options for that, depending, I guess, on what you acquire for that quest and everything else and I'm just excited to know that he's going to have multiple dresses and I can't wait to see them and I'm just super excited. It's one of my favorite parts in the Midgar portion of the game and I mean he does look pretty dashing in that dress so I'm just I'm so excited and I'm excited to see Aerith and Tifa in different dresses too. So, I do love Eris' red dress though, it's so pretty, and I'm just, I'm excited! And I'm also excited to find out the rest of the English voice cast, because they have not told us anything about that. Like, at all. We do not know who's doing the voices of a lot of the characters. We just know Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, Aerith, Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge. I believe that's all we know as far as the English cast goes. No, it was not confirmed that Mark Hamill is doing Don Corneo's voice. Despite what people say, that is just speculation. That is not confirmed by anybody. If someone tells you that was confirmed, they're lying. Do not believe them. Trust me, it's not been confirmed yet. Just wait till the game releases and wait till they, wait till you can see who's actually voicing him because I don't want people finding out it's not Mark Hamill and be like, oh, Square Enix lied to us. They told us he was voicing him. They never said that. They never said that. So don't be putting words into their mouth. It was not confirmed. I'm just going to get that out now because I hate seeing people go, oh, it's Mark Hamill voicing him. I'm like, no, it's not. Quit telling yourself that. Okay, enough about that because I said my piece, but... We're almost there, you guys. We're gonna ride this hype train to the end. I know I am. I hope you are too. We're almost there. And even though it feels like time is standing still until this game comes out, we're getting so much more closer. We are so close. I can't even believe. We are almost two weeks away. And this wait, I know, has been killing us all is just it, it's it's hurtful to wait for this game because we've waited so long and with everything going on right now it makes the wait that much more painful but we will make it I assure you we will make it to this game 16 days you guys 16 days anyways that is all for this video and I hope this wasn't too too boring because all it Basically, it's just me talking over a countdown, but I just wanted to do something like this. It's kind of calming as opposed to like gameplay while talking, but I will probably do more like this leading up to the release of the game 
just to hype everyone up and get everyone excited for what I assure is going to be the best game this year. Because let's face it, this has been the most hyped up game in the past couple of years, in the past few years. So, I assure you, it will be the best game this year. Anyways, thank you all for joining me in this, and I will probably have future ones when we get closer to the release day. So anyways, take care everyone!